Before participating in the following activity, there are some important things we want you to do. Please remember to practice physical distancing of at least six feet from anyone that is outside of your home. Wear comfortable and proper shoes. Make sure you have an open space around you with no objects or obstacles in the way. Use the proper equipment or alternative objects you can find in your home. And last, stay hydrated and have fun. Hi guys, uh, this is Sarah and this is Karina and we're here to introduce you to our game called Underhand Roll Bowling and this is a game that's slightly different from the bowling game you may have played before and throughout this video we're going to explain uh, the setup, the equipment and the rules that we have designed especially all the uh, variants that we have created in order to make the game more inclusive Here are the equipments you will need for the game First you'll need six water bottles as the bowling pin, then a metal can or a ball if you have one to knock down the bowling pins, some tape or strings to mark the playing area, a pair of scissors to cut the tape or string, and lastly, some pen and paper to create labels and scoring sheet for the game. The water bottles need to be set up in the shape of a triangle like so. Keep a distance of 10 centimeters between each bottle. Here is how the playing area looks like after setting up everything. The distance between the standing line to the 5 point line is 1 meter. And for 10, 15, 20 point lines, they need to be set approximately 30 centimeters in between. The water bottles will be placed behind the 20 point line. The rule of the game is simple. To score, use an underhand roll to toss out a can and aim for the water bottles. Don't worry if the Ten can points. didn't hit the water bottles. You can still get points for passing each line. If you knock down a bottle, add 10 points for each bottle to your 20 points Yay. for passing the line. If the can goes off course, you can still trace it and see which labeled line it has passed and get a points. Here are some tips to help you to get a better result. First, you will have to put your preferred leg at front and lower your center of gravity in order to provide a firm support for your entire body. Keep your arms straight in order to create a greater moment arm for the swing in order to throw the object to a longer distance. Also, remember to maintain a neutral spine. Your wrist is highly essential in this movement as they will control the direction of the rolling ball. Try to avoid any ulnar deviation. The seated version is similar to the standing version, except for remember to lower your back further more as the center of gravity is harder to maintain in this position. The game can be played by yourself or with friends and families. To play with a partner, simply take turns at tossing. The team or player got the most score wins. For each toss, you can use a scoring sheet to keep track of your scores before resetting for the next group. An example here shows that if I knock down two bottles, I get 20 points for passing the line and 20 points for knocking down two bottles, with a total of 40 points. Besides of having different modes and choice of position, we also created another choice which is the choice of the rolling ball. It can be a heavier can or a lighter can depending on the player's preference and capability. We hope you enjoyed the game and remember, the game can be played by yourself or with other people. Use this video as instruction or try to teach your friends and family how to play this game. You can use hashtag bowling at home to share your experience having fun doing physical activities on social media, such as Instagram. 
You can also see many other people playing their versions of the game, and it is a great chance to get inspirations for alternative playing methods and knowing new friends who also like fun, creative games. Best wishes from us, and let's stay healthy together. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.